Hello guys and welcome to another uh, mod map first look video. In this video we're gonna look at mod map called Vosnitsi. I think that's the way to pronounce it. But yeah, by the looks of by the looks of it, it's uh, one of the new Polish maps. So you can see uh, it's quite small but extremely busy. Yeah, this if you look at this, that would be the standard size. So this is probably about a third or a quarter of a standard map. So, yeah, let's just read the description of a map. Welcome to the fictional map of Wosnice. I wish you many fun hours with this map. Map is adapted for precision farming. Map is adapted for seasons mod. The map has one propriety farm, 112 fields, animal dealer, three selling stations, traffic, opening gates, new textures of crops and trees, machine shop, sawmill, a liming station, gas station, transport missions, ice on the road, lakes, and snowmen during winter, which is pretty cool. Uh, the dairy added in-game painting texture and a big forest. Right, so let's have a look at it. So this is where we start. That's our sleep trigger, right by the door. Yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, I really like the lightning. I feel like it's a bit different, or maybe the textures are a wee bit different, but I do like the look of that. It kind of feels natural and warm. So, yeah, the yard is typical for a Polish map. Quite compact, quite small, small sheds. A lot of detail. I really like this. Like ivy growing on the trees. Like all this little detail, like a watering hose hanging on the wall. It every little adds to the map. There's another one right here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, nice wood. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Nice wooden sheds and some brick sheds. So yeah, uh, let's maybe start with looking at the PDA maybe, and then we'll look at the equipment, contracts, and stuff. So yeah, as you can see. It's all farm sim standard crops, uh, no additional crops on this map. Um, the map is pre precision farming ready and it has got a custom soil map which you can see here. It's a wee bit of everything but you can see north is mainly salty clay and then you got sandy loam like kind of to the east side. Southeast is mainly loam same as the west and then southwest is loamy sand and sandy loam. So yeah, the field size is, this is probably one of the biggest fields, field 93, which is uh, 1.2 hectares. And that's 1.2 hectares as well. Field 49, 1.43 hectares. So this is probably your biggest field on the map. And it's only 86,000, well, just over $86,000. You've got quite a few patches of forestry, which is nice to see. Like you don't have to buy the whole forest to be able to do some. Uh, you've got some smaller fields, which do come with a forestry by the looks of it. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, some some patches of a smaller fields like here two fields together what we start with is field 98 which is tiny 0.34 hectare field 35 which is 0.24 but as you can see the fields probably about half of that and then this is the main farm with a field 79 on the farm we do have horse pasture which is a very unusual thing to have but I quite like that uh, most of the people gonna have either cows, sheep or pigs, so it's nice to see something different for once. Yeah, the map is really busy, like colourful, it's probably due to the number of the fields and how small they, small they are, but I do like the look of it so far. Right, uh, let's have a look at the cell points. We can see we've got Scoop and Marusha, if I'm pronouncing it right, and Veski Scoop. So those two are for main crops. Sugarcane as well, and that's about that. Then we've got barn, which takes yeah silage, hay, straw, and grass. And then we've got mlecharnia <laughs> for yeah my pronunciation isn't great for eggs and milk. And then we've got sawmill for the wood and wood chips. Obviously, as far as I'm aware, there's no BGA on the map. 
which in my opinion is quite disappointing i do like having the bga on the map another thing i don't quite like is public area cost 17 and a half million which in my opinion should come for free because people might want to do snow contracts on the roads and stuff uh, like snow plowing and that and i feel like you have to own the roads to be able to do that so just in my opinion either included with a st static farm uh, or just set the price to zero but yeah what else? Let's have a look at the contracts. We can see we've got transport contracts, harvesting, fertilizing. Nice to see. Always nice to have contracts. Uh, starting equipment. Everything is owned. Nothing leased. And you can see everything's with zero working hours. Let's have a look at the garage. What we've got. So we're starting with a drop nose massive Ferguson 5610, 105 horsepower, 6135M John Deere tractor. 142 horsepower probably as 99% of the polish maps uh, FMZ Bison combine and a pickup truck uh, TDK 1600 14,000 liter trailer uh, header for our Bison 4.2 meter Agramash 2.5 meter plow Kuhn Kultimer L300 3 meter cultivator We've got Qualidisc Farmer 3000, another 3 meter cultivator, and then we've got Waterstat Spirit Art 300S Direct Drill 3 meter as well. We've got a Coon Spreader and Stall Front Loader Attachment with a Pallet Fork. We also have a placeable horse stable which I'm interested to see if we can actually buy it and then a couple of placeable buildings there as well right so if you go here let's have a look at animal pens so yes you can buy the horse table which is nice to see because there's a lot of maps out there which will have custom placeables which you can sell but you cannot buy back so it's always a good thing to have one of those what else uh, miscellaneous we don't have any of that and sheds we do also have the sheds included with a map which is also a good thing and the placeable house yeah so so far it's looking good what i'm gonna do now is well let's maybe open those sheds have a look inside as well okay so this is where our tractor and a pickup and most of our equipment is looking neat uh this is the horse table that's our bad boy bison right here some seeds to get you started seeds and fertilizer and this looks like a bit of a bigger shed barn if you like which has the spreader direct drill and the john deere tractor by the looks of it we do not have a grain silo on the farm if you have a look here yes you can see zero liters so we've not got any grain storage which i mean in game i suppose you would want to have a silo when you're starting the game but in real life in poland not every farmer has got one so it's kind of realistic i suppose right let's have a look at the pda and the way we're gonna deal with this first look video it shouldn't take too long there's a lot of detail and stuff but it's not gonna take too long since the map's so small right so that's with the plow is on the field 81 which we do not even own which is quite weird uh, a weird location to leave the plow maybe it's like a hinting <laughs> to buy that field right let's have a look at the detail around the map is stunning in my opinion it is stunning that's one thing i love about polish maps like the amount of detail so the fields are small as expected Got some nice fencing there, like an old school fencing. Uh, probably a water trigger for your horses. Yeah, it's looking neat. I'm really liking it so far. Uh, soybean. Yeah, and that's how I plow for some reason, just sitting next to cornfield, waiting for the crop to be destroyed. <laughs> right. So what I'll do now is I'll jump to the store and 
I forgot to add my favorite beetle for the first looks. But in that case, we're just gonna... Well, in this case, we can just use our pickup on the farm. Don't have to start at the store. Where are we? Here we go. Open that. Let's get rid of the auto start. Right. I'm really liking it so far. Funnily enough, I love the look of the polish maps, like the detail and everything, but I've never really played on one myself. Um, okay, what's the best way? So, if we maybe leave the farm, take a left, go down this way, go down, and then up, back up on the main road, and then have a look what's there. Then just go up to the top, and it'll end it there. Right. Some nice trees there as well, different trees. Really liking the detail. Looks like some more storage there. Maybe not. Can you open this? No, it doesn't look like a... It's a shame, 2D sheds, but I mean... 2D textures on the sheds. I quite like the noise of the bees there. Freaked me out at first. I was like, what is this? <laughs> right. It looks like a hayloft maybe or something like that. Let's just buy it and see if we can use it then. No, it doesn't look like a... Unfortunately, it is purely for decoration. Some more beehives. I love all the dirt tracks and stuff on the polish maps. It's like you've got a whole separate road network made out of dirt tracks on the polish maps, which is quite cool. Right, so, yeah, let's have a look at the field we own. Without crashing, if that's possible. <laughs> well, we're actually right next to it. That's uh, 101 and uh, 98. That's uh, just the third field on the left. Small fields. It's ideal for the people who love using like old school equipment, small equipment, a lot of forestry. Yeah, more detail, more lakes, rivers, if you like. I'm really liking it. It just feels like natural and real. Yeah, some, I, I really like the mixture of the trees, instead of like only having birch trees or spruce. You've got like all mixed up together, without like separate patches of the same type of tree. Hey, it's a, no that's just a small town area. Looks like you've got a wee bit of storage here and there, but most likely just for the decorations. Right, if you purchase it, we'll give it a try. Oh, it comes with a super expensive patch of land. Okay, that's the main dealer on the right. Nice sunflower field on the left. Some dudes for tractors. Detail. Uh, yeah, not too sure about that, but. I mean, 2D windows and that, not my cup of tea. Everyone sit around though. Uh, let's just get a couple of bags. Right, this is where the stuff spawns. And that's your repair trigger right there. Let's just drive up. And you've got the bank, uh, which is a very FS17 thing in my opinion. Right, that's the trigger working. Okay, doke, let's crack on. Sorry, kind sir. Right, that's a dead end. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It looks great from the distance, but when you approach and you just see that blurry texture as an ideal. Right, so this is what I was meaning about the road network of uh, dirt tracks, I really like that. 
when you're looking at the PDA kind of expecting an actual road but it's just a nice wee dirt track okay let's have a look what we've got here looks like some of the cell points over here quite like the uh, all the power lines and stuff right the main the main entrance is off the main road it looks like we've got a train just sitting there probably just for a uh, decoration purpose as well it looks good yeah nicely detailed shop area uh, so we've got sawmill spinnery and scoop of marusha over here and then the rest of the stores are on the northeast corner of a map yeah looking pretty good that's where you sell your wool and stuff uh, wood chips and that's where you sell your logs nice little fireplace over here if you wanna maybe set the logs on fire or have a barbecue whichever you prefer vandalism or recreational <laughs> use um, yeah looking good so far it's crazy how small the fields are I do like that though I really do just make me makes me wanna like either do a personal let's play on something like this or even do a series Yeah, so as I was saying, it's not going to take long at all, because obviously of the size of a map, and since we've only got like two main cell points, uh, isn't really much to go around. And look at, as I was saying, the only disappointing thing is the fact that it's not got a BGA, and maybe it would be nice to have some other animal pastures, like you know cows and stuff and also I'd quite like to be able to use these sheds like if you purchase the patch of land here you know you would kinda expect those sheds to be usable yeah once again nice detail bees again it's just the only problem I'm having with it is the fact that you can't open the doors it would just be nice to have like different options to start on okay so it looks like we're coming up to another dead end there so I'm just gonna turn around I love all the detail like I know I keep saying uh, repeating myself on that but I just do yeah, a bit more detail nice little pond let's get back on the main road and head up north I'm using keyboard instead of a steering wheel for this first look it's not too much driving but You'll just have to ignore me crashing into random bits, I suppose. Okay, so it's quite hilly as well. It's not a flat map, so it's great for the people who prefer that. Like myself. And that's exactly what I was talking about. I just can't drive with a keyboard. Yeah, I'm loving the dirt tracks in between the fields. Okay, so this is our barn by the looks of it. Probably the trigger's probably on the other side. Yeah, the trigger's over here, so that's where you sell all your grass, hay and stuff, silage, straw. I mean, the problem about BGA isn't really a problem because there's so many placeable mods at the moment where you can just place one where you like. That looks like maybe milk sale point gas station lime station so that's probably a gas station and that's the lime station 
and this is the cell point. Yeah, looking good. Nice wee water tower. Right, is there anything else? That's probably about it. So, just as I was saying, this is a very short first look. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And for an outro, I'm just gonna fly over the map so you can just have a look at what it looks like from above. Thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and comment down below as well. Thanks again. See you guys later. Bye now.